my late husband Alfredo Cuomo, himself a Fulbright scholar, had made a great success of his life, educationally, artistically and financially, and wanted to help those less fortunate in society. It began some years ago with an idea, how to help the poor children we met. We were walking peacefully along the beach in Kavalam, when suddenly, as if by magic, we were surrounded by little children. They wanted to show us something. We let them take our hands and lead us through the sands and the fishing boats to a clearing, where we saw a small church, and beside it, a long straw covered the hut. The hut was open, no walls, no furniture, and a dirty floor. This was their school. It was our beginning. We will be so grateful to you forever. Thank you. We went on to build nurseries, primary and secondary high schools, dormitories, and proper safe toilet facilities in Kavalan, Sendivakam, Kejikandiyai, and Chennai. Our next project in rural Mambakam would prove to be far more challenging. I'm Father Benjamin Nesimini, the parish priest of Mambakam. Uh, the past few generations, they have not very much educated. Most of them are uh, coolie daily laborers. They go for construction works. They go for paddy field. We have two schools in Mambaku. One is the primary, the other one is the high school. Now we have nearly about 1,100 students. The school gets students from nearly 22 villages in and around Mambaku. If they are not educated here, they will follow the same occupation of their parents. The problems now for this school is the structure. We don't have enough space for the children. You see some children are sitting outside here. We don't have enough classrooms. We don't have roof. We only have the sheet. After finishing their 10th standard, many give up their education because they need to travel a lot. They need to pay a lot. To their parents, they don't encourage their children, particularly female children. If at all, we have a good higher secondary school here in Mambakam. They need not break up the education after 10th standard. Nel 2013 la Fondazione Cuomo era già sensibile ai problemi dell'ecologia, ma grazie al partenariato con la Fondazione du Prince Albert II de Monaco, questa sensibilità si accentuò ed infatti la Fondazione sosteneva con borse di studio degli studenti di tutte le parti del mondo già prescelti dall'IPCC per ricerche sulla polluzione atmosferica o l'inquinamento degli oceani. Fu per questo motivo che quando mi fu presentato il progetto per una nuova scuola a Mambacca, un villaggio rurale nel Tamil Nadu, decise che questa scuola doveva essere una scuola verde che doveva rispettare tutti i canoni dell'ecologia del XXI secolo. Uh, there's a story behind uh, how YGBC came about. During President Clinton's visit, early 2000, he spoke to the Prime Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, and he told him that the U.S. is promoting green buildings. It's happening all over the world. And it was happening sporadically in India also. People becoming aware why they should convert themselves into sustainable architectural design. And he wants to bring in the, uh, the influence and the knowledge and the research done by USGBC will be actual to Indian conditions. Not every client has this inclination towards uh, having a responsibility towards climate change. Everybody involved at the foundation seemed to be very active about the Green Project and there were many people who had come to visit the site you know, at a regular interval to see how the green measures were being implemented. Involvement of the Kumo Foundation and the support was uh, commendable. IGBC has stuck to the basic principles of uh, energy saving because that's very crucial to India. Water efficiency is again a very crucial matter in India. Then resources, the development of building materials which are not guzzlers of energy 
and uh, you know builders uh, building materials which are uh, having less uh, carbon footprint. So our focus has been on these five areas: in site sustainability, energy efficiency, water efficiency, materials and resources, and you of course have innovation. We become more responsible in choosing the labor, uh, where they come from, how far do they come from, and where the material arises from. Is it within particular uh, radius? So we don't uh, spend more uh, energy in transporting a material that is required. Even for a painting material, we had to go through a lot of uh, steps in finding out which company would give us less VOC. Coming back to water efficient fixtures, what is the rate of flow of water per minute? Even the lights and fans used are energy efficient. When I spoke about big building in the year 2004 or 2005, so with bureaucracy, they listened to all this and they had an apprehension about cost. So the instruction I got for a building that we did for government, don't do big building, but do a light green building. <laughs> IGBC is a responsible organization who are taking a step towards at least a small part of the people become responsible citizens to Mother Earth. The recognition that they give in attaining the leadership in energy efficiency design is a prestigious one. The first thing is platinum rating is an apex uh, kind of recognition. It shows a commendable and excellent performance of building in every aspect of it. In most people, to my knowledge, they go for gold. Whereas to go to platinum, there has to be real passion behind it, gold like. It is if the children understand what it is to make a green school. And the idea is that every child will go back to their homes and will start implementing things in their life. It's not immediately there, you know, with their parents or later in life, so it sort of gets ingrained. That's why green schools, I think, is the most important uh, direction.